Hi guys, it's Tana Mojo, and today I am coming to you live from my brand new home. I know, I know, so exciting. Big things, I am adulting, I pay bills now. Do you know what bills cost? Bills cost a lot of fucking money, it's so annoying. So fucking annoying, I had to spend my money on like a paper towel holder. I didn't even know a paper towel holder was a thing, like why can't it just sit on the counter? I had to buy paper towels for the paper towel holder. You know what I mean? Very salty, adulting is not as great as it is cracked up to be. Laundry detergent. You have to spend the money you work hard for on fucking laundry detergent. Then you have to do... I sound like a spoiled, white ass, rich ass bitch, so I'm just gonna shut up, but like really though, adulting is so hard. So ever since I started my Not A Beauty Guru series, I promised you guys that I would do a haul. And I filmed a fall haul, I filmed a back to school haul, I've tried to film a regular clothing haul, and every single time I film it, I'm like, yes guys, I'm uploading a haul, I tweet it, you guys get all excited, and then I watch the footage, and I'm like, this is not me, like, it's just too, like, cookie cutter bag, it's too forced, and I'm gonna continue to attempt that, you know, because, like, I want to do hauls, I enjoy hauls, I like watching hauls, but, like, <laughs> I don't know, I just can't seem to get it right, I can't seem to do it without it seeming, like, bleh, like, I don't know how to explain it, I just... I'm never happy with it, but today I'm coming to you live with a home decor haul and I'm hoping that this is a bit different and a bit better because it's not like this shirt is white and brand new mobile. this shirt is black and brand new mobile. this shirt is gray and pack sun. Okay, subscribe, bye. Like I'm hoping this is actually a little bit more interesting because it's like various things, you know, you know, do you know? I don't know. You fucking hate when you put your hair in a ponytail and it gets that like disgusting ass fugly ass crease in it but you also don't want to kill your hair and flat iron it so you just like go with the vibe because me too i also just thought i would let you guys know that you're literally balanced on top of toilet paper paper towels a box of coconut candies then camera right here scotch tape and then there's a mirror behind all of that and that is my setup for the day because I forgot to bring a tripod or anything tripod like that I would normally use because dumb bitch so yeah so the first thing I got is this wonderful mirrored table piece I'm probably gonna put it in the room that we are currently sitting in in between two chairs and prior to buying this I realized wait does prior mean before I meant after buying this, but I can't fucking English. After buying this, I soon realized that it is so prone to fingerprints, and me being the disgusting ass bitch I am, cue my MacBook in my reading hate comments video, and my door in every video that's ever existed, this was probably not the smartest purchase, but I mean, trendy, it's fucking trendy, is a bread box. Because society taught me that bread can't just sit on your counter. If you want it to look nice and Instagram worthy, you buy a $27 bread box from Target that I can't fucking open. Oh, there's tape on it. But yeah, chrome, clear, see-through, beautiful. Clear and see-through mean the same thing. See, we're off to a wonderful start today, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so the next things I bought that were in those bags that took me 10 years to open is a set of things that I don't know the name of for bathrooms, you know what I'm talking about? Like your toothbrush goes in this. Your motherfucking cotton balls goes in this because society taught me you can't just put cotton balls on the counter. And then this soap pump. Isn't this so aesthetically pleasing? It's like gray marble. This literally turns me on. Like every time I pump my soap, I'm like, yeah, yeah, give it to me. Just <laughs> Fuck. And then this little dish, which is normally for a bar of soap, but I'm not a barbaric cave woman. I don't use those. So I'm probably just gonna put like bougie jewelry on it, you know? And I'm also very impressed with the fact that all of these were only like $10, like they're literally beautiful. I'm so excited to put these in my home. And they're so like heavy and like bougie. I'm gonna say bougie a lot in this video, just an FYI, that's like the word I'm on. Like it was lit, now it's bougie. Shout out to Trisha Paytas for that. I'm not even trying to claim it. Like she says bougie so much and it just like, I can't stop saying bougie. So yeah. The next thing I bought are these little like pom-pom uh, table, footstool, I don't know, it's fuzzy. I really like this, it's like black and white fuzzy. Isabella said that these look like split ends, which makes me sad, but I think it's beautiful. Anyways, I bought two of those 
to put with like big upholstered chairs as like the feet rest and it be fucking so Instagram worthy. And then of course I couldn't stop there. I had to get a throw blanket that matches them to like drape over the chair. I'm really trying to be better homes and gardens here if you can't tell. Like that's the vibe I'm going for, just ugh. Oh, yes. The next thing I got is this throw pillow, which honestly now that I look at it, I really didn't need to spend like $20 on this. I'm not like in love with it. It just like my colors are silver, white, like gray, black, you know, anything that sucks the life out of a home. I like those colors. So yeah, I just kind of fit the color scheme, so I bought it, but I'm not like super crazy about it. Next thing I bought is for the Christmas season. It is a tree skirt, but it is like faux fur and anything faux fur literally makes my dick hard. So I mean, there's that. Again, another statement about adulting. I really didn't know that tree skirts were like $25. Like it's literally a piece of fabric to go around your tree. Like, what do you mean? Like Aunt Jemima could make that. Like, why do I have to pay so much money for this? I don't know. Like, uh, 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 uh. So the next thing I bought, I literally have been thinking about for months. Like, you know, when you see something in a store and you just want it so bad and you keep thinking about it until you buy it. Like this literally kept me up at night. It's these salt and pepper shakers that are in the shape of like little bulldogs. And they're like, that bougie material, like, do you hear that? Like music to my ears. Yeah, they're so cute. I literally thought about these like at night. But what's annoying is I use like grinders. Oh yeah, get it, yeah. But um, really though, I use grinders. So like this has no purpose other than to be bougie on my counter, but like, so the next thing I bought is a fruit bowl because society taught me that fruit can't just sit on my counter. And I love this one. It's so just, ugh, aesthetic. Ow. It's so aesthetically appeasing, appealing, up. Blah, 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 I don't know. English doesn't work today. But yeah, I really, really like this. Also, like $25. It's a bowl for your fucking fruit. What do you mean? I don't know, but I like it so much. That's another thing. Jenna Marbles touched on this, so I'm not trying to like steal her shine, but it's so weird. Like, I'm excited about that. Like, I'm genuinely so excited to put my fruit in that fucking bowl and look at it. Like, why? I don't know, but like, so excited. The next thing I bought are these big white fuzzy balls. And these were in the Christmas section, but I'm probably just gonna keep them up year round. It's like a garland. Anything that's fuzzy and, you know, balls, I fucking love it, you know? Yeah, yeah. The next thing I bought is a tad bit tacky, but what's a tan of Christmas if you're not a little bit tacky? It's this banner that says Merry Christmas and it's glittery. I bought this because I felt like a lot of the Christmas decorations that I was buying weren't very like Christmas-y. Like they were plain and like monotone, like white, silver, you know what I mean? So I bought that because it literally says Christmas on it. Very Christmassy, cheap, easy, like me, subscribe. Just kidding, I hate myself. Why did I... <laughs> The next thing I bought is a Keurig K2, fuck you, I don't know. I bought this because society taught me that a regular coffee pot is not acceptable, you know? You know, yeah, literally, like, I didn't want a regular coffee pot because I felt like this was way bougier, and I'm so excited to drink, like, wonderful drinks in that, so I'm gonna stop explaining a Keurig now because you don't care, and neither do I. Thank you for staying till this point. Then I bought some K-Cups. This is chai latte because that is my favorite drink at Starbucks, and this one is a French vanilla latte because that is my mom's favorite drink at Starbucks, you know. The next thing I bought are some cheap ass ornaments for my Christmas tree, which I forgot to bring over to the house today. I just realized that is at my old house. That's great. I can't wait to do some Christmas videos with my Christmas tree in the background and be a pro YouTuber because nothing says pro YouTuber like filming in front of a tree in December. And I bought an $8 hand towel. Why is this $8? I don't know. Did I like the color enough to buy it? Fuck yeah, I did, but I paid eight dollars. Like that's so annoying. Like this was eight dollars. All this is gonna do is sit on a little dick ass rack for my dick ass guests in my dick ass house to wipe their fucking hand on. Like why? Why wasn't this four cents? Why wasn't this four fucking cents? This probably costed some child in a sweatshop somewhere to like sew four cents to make. Why was this eight dollars? Like capitalism. Fuck you, Donald Trump. I'm just kidding. I don't know what I'm saying. I know nothing about politics. Ah, ma. Oh my god. In my last video, I talked about the peanut butter baby and how much I hate the like ba thing, but I can't stop saying ba now. So, like, ba. I bought a tree topper. Ba. Yeah, but really, though. No. I actually fucking despise this tree topper, but Isabella in the background told me the one that I picked out was tacky and I shouldn't buy it and coerced me into buying this one because it was bougie. So. 
peer pressure. <laughs> Never fall into it, kids. Bougie. The thing are these hand towels because society told me that during the holiday time, you can't have regular hand towels. You have to have $5.99 hand towels with trees on them. The next things I bought from Target literally turned me on. Like this turns me on so much. I really don't like red during the Christmas time, like red and green. I like like white, silver, and gold. So I was like frustrated because I didn't think I'd be able to find a stocking that like fits my need for my aesthetic to be displayed everywhere in my home. And then I found these beautiful faux fur stockings that literally turn me on so much. Like I just wanna fill these stockings with more of this stocking because nothing makes me happier than this fucking stocking. Ugh, ugh. Oh, yes, bitch. Yes. I also got this little $3 Santa ornament as well because I just thought he was so cute. I die for Santas that aren't wearing red. Then I bought this soap pump, which is also marble. More things that turned me on. Marble and faux fur, I'm just like living for right now, like literally living for it. So this is gonna be in my guest bathroom. So if you ever, you know, break and enter in my home, you can use so that's all I got from Target, and now I'm gonna move on to TJ Maxx, which I literally fucking like robbed their store because I love TJ Maxx so fucking much. This video is already 18 minutes long. I'm literally trying to be Trisha Paytas right now. Like I'm saying bougie, I'm doing 20 minute hauls. I'm just kidding, I love Trisha so much. But really, I don't need any of this. Speaking of things I don't need, the first thing I bought at TJ Maxx are these little Kate Spade envelopes that are white and black polka dot, and then they say this just in on them. Because I felt like this would be a nice addition in case I ever need to write a thank you note, which I probably never will because I have no friends, but I mean, you know, I have them and they match my aesthetic and that's all that matters to me. The next thing I bought, I want to put inside of my <laughs> so bad. Oh my God. I have no use for this. I will never make bread in my entire life. I will literally never do anything with this, but fucking look at it. But it's this marble, like, what are these? I don't even know what it's called, a rolling pin and just... I'm in love with it so hard. Then I bought some non-slip a pl I'm just kidding, fuck. But like really though, like the next thing I bought are some velvet pan hangers because society tells you that velvet hangers make Say like make I bought some fucking velvet hangers, okay? Does anybody remember when all of this kind of shit was like popular on YouTube in like 2006, like circa Juicy Star 07, you know what I mean? Like the, the nail polish racks, all that shit. Well, I'm like five years late, but I mean, I bought this for the five lipsticks that I own so that people think I have money when they walk in my bathroom even though no one's gonna go in my bathroom because I don't have friends. Another wasted six dollars. I love being an adult. <laughs> that was really fucking heavy and my wrist just like broke. Do you hear that noise? Wrist, wrist. Then I bought a mixing bowl and I literally didn't want to buy this until I read it and it says Stainless steel mixing bowl with airtight lid. For some reason, like the phrase airtight lid made this so much more appealing to me because I was like, ooh, airtight lid. Even though I don't bake, don't need a mixing bowl, don't need a mixing bowl with an airtight lid. But for some reason, I was like, airtight lid, oh my god, it's an airtight lid, holy shit. Fuck, it has an airtight lid, even though I don't need it. Another $8 <laughs> that I wasted on something that I'll never use. But it has an airtight lid. Then I bought this favorite moments of the day journal for my office, which I thought was very cute. I used to journal every single day, like literally all the way up until like my freshman year in high school, like every single day I would journal. And I totally stopped doing that because like, I just like would forget about it all the time. But I felt like this was cuter because it wasn't so much that I had to like write a journal entry. It was just like a favorite moment. And at the end of the year, it'd be a cool thing to look back on. It's cute. I don't. Then I bought this cutting board that literally just broke. Like I could break this into pieces, but I'm going to try to fix it. It's like a slate material. Like, you know what I mean? Like it makes, oh, it makes like the chalkboard noise. Oh. Oh, that noise literally just gave me chills. But yeah, cute, bougie. Gonna cut some fucking cheese on it. I don't, don't know how to adult, I'm 12. Then I bought this fat ass throw from Cynthia Rowley. This is gonna go on my couch, which is black. It's like literally so big and like furry. I just thought it was cute, cute little accent. I was gonna do a white couch, but I mean, let's be real here. I can't even keep like my hands clean, let alone a piece of furniture. So yeah, that's my touch of white. Then I bought this pencil, which is a branch. Like, it's literally a fucking branch from a fucking tree. And, like, 
I don't know where the tree is from. I don't even know why I thought I could finish that sentence. I really don't know. But it has a koala on it, hugging the fucking branch. Then I have this incredibly fuzzy mat. This is like one of those computer mats, you know? So I'm gonna put it like under a computer desk, you know? Morpho fur, part of my aesthetic, you know how it goes. And I have these towels that say fresh and clean and they remind me of that little thing that's like, so fresh and so clean, clean. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, anyways. I bought these so that no one can ever use them and they can sit on my counter and look like this forever and people think I'm clean but I'm not, you know? It's, it's one of those. And then the final things are from Walmart. And I bought these pine cones that smell like cinnamon. And I am like in love with these. I love anything cinnamon. And they smell so fucking good. Like if you get one thing to decorate your home with in the holiday time, like buy these. Smell. I'm just kidding. I'm not one of those bitches. <laughs> Anyways. Then I got this vase from Walmart and it's like reflective and chrome and fancy and I'm really surprised with the quality of this from Walmart. I just saw it and I was like, ooh. And I wanna put some like bougie ass white flowers in it, you know? You know, yeah. So I'm honestly probably missing like 10 things but this room is like a disgusting, horrible mess right now so that's all you're gonna see for now. If you guys wanna see any more home decor hauls where I tell you what society tells me to put in my house, feel free to leave comments in the comments below and I promise for all of those who have already asked that I will be doing a house tour as soon as possible. I'm just not gonna do one until it is like done. Like I'm the type of person that doesn't wanna post a video about something until I'm completely satisfied with it. So I'm gonna do a house tour but once everything is just like perfect, so probably in like February or March. My next videos though will be about my new dog and then I'll probably do some other cool videos with stuff to do with my house and then just regular story times and rants and stuff as well. But yeah, no house tour until like February or March. I'm really sorry, but I love you guys. And I'm so thankful for you. And I appreciate all of your sweet comments and your support. It means the world to me. I love you to the moon and back. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't done that already. I know I sound so annoying and beauty guru-like, but I'm not a beauty guru. Hashtag not a beauty guru. Serious shameless self promo. Follow me on all my social media, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.